And of course, the, the bathroom is something that's always a challenge for people to figure out exactly the accessibility there, but it seems a bit unusual that this opens to the living area instead of maybe the hallway, but that would be pretty tight over there, wouldn't it? Danny, I'm glad you brought that up. Um, originally, the house had a door, and it was a 2 door entering the bathroom right here. I see. And structurally, it would have been a little bit more because we have ceiling joists and rafters oh, yeah, that come into right this wall, this wall, sitting right on this middle oh, wall. Okay. And the other thing was, by adding the door here and making it a 3-0, it's mm -hmm. a lot more easier for her to get in and out of the shower. It's a straight shot. Mm -hmm. um, the, we were able to move around. We, we, and this is also cost efficient for mm -hmm. us. We were able to get the shower in here, move the wall a little bit, and get a, the toilet positioned over so that the shower would work. And that's a key point when you're trying to make a handicap accessible shower or yeah. tub unit. Absolutely, but I mean, um, boy, you, you went all out there in order to lower that down because a lot of times you'll have a pretty significant curb there and then the sink works out well you have accessibility under there and still instead of the large handicap type sink which can really be expensive exactly. using a traditional sink but just uh, position it a certain way that's right that's right